My fans, my community has made it loud and clear. They want a three-way comparison between the Redmi Air Dots, the Xiaomi Mi Air Dots, and the Xiaomi Mi Air Dots Pro. Today, we're hopping into it. Hey guys, my name is Mitchell. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about the tech I use. And before we get started talking about this three-way Xiaomi True Wireless headphone comparison, I wanna thank everyone that supports me and uses my affiliate links. Without your continued support, I couldn't buy these products and answer questions for you. Also, a lot of these questions come from my Telegram community. And if you're not part of my Telegram community, there's a link to it down in the description down below. If you have questions about that, go ahead and let me know in Telegram or drop it in the comment section. Okay, enough talking. Let's just hop over into the video. Also, a lot of these questions come from my Telegram community. And if you're not part of my Telegram community, there's a link to it down in the description down below. If you have questions about that, go ahead and let me know in Telegram or drop it in the comment section. Okay, enough talking. Let's just hop over into the video. Now, comparing these headphones is gonna be kind of difficult because they're three totally different price brackets and there's a lot of overlapping features. I'm not going to talk about the price or touch on the value aspect of it till the end, which is my opinion. So first up, we just gotta talk about the battery life because that's been one of the number one questions I've had from people. Both the Redmi AirDots and the Xiaomi AirDots feature a 300 milliamp hour battery inside the charging case and both of the headphone units have a 40 milliamp hour uh, battery. So. Battery wise, you are looking at almost identical battery performance between the Redmi AirDots and the Xiaomi AirDots. The only difference that you might see is that the Xiaomi AirDots use the AAC audio codec, whereas the Redmi AirDots use SBC and there is a little bit more processing of that audio signal with AAC. So best battery life might go to these. On the other hand, the Mi True Wireless Headphones, or the Mi AirDots Pro as we'll call them, have by far the worst battery life I have ever used. I was listening to a Joe Rogan podcast on a recent trip I had here in Vietnam. There was a long line. I was in line for almost two hours. At one hour and like 45 minutes with these up close to max volume, with the active noise cancellation on, I was getting a low battery warning of 20%, meaning, at high volume with active noise cancellation, you're only looking at around two hours, maybe two and a half hours of battery life with the true wireless headphones. So these are by far the worst battery life. The next question that you guys had for me was about latency. Now the latency of the Mi true wireless headphones is probably the worst. Uh, and these two are pretty much neck and neck. I'll go ahead and roll a clip for you guys of the latency of each of these, both with YouTube and playing PUBG for the people that are asking me about gaming. And let's hop into that. Incredibly cheap. And if you, let's see if you guys can hear that. If you tap them, it sounds like there's something rattling around. You don't get that with the regular hair dots. Now let's go ahead and put them in. I haven't paired these yet, so let's see how fast they pair. It is noting that they are a little bit smaller feeling.
is audio Kodak, or if this is the actual construction of the headphones. But the vocals on the song I'm listening to here is a swerve. Okay, now as you guys can see, uh, latency on these is really bad, and latency on both of these is pretty close to it. Uh, both of them, if you watch a lot of YouTube, both of these headphones will kind of drive you crazy in regards to uh, watching videos if you're watching stuff that has a lot of like synced up audio. So for that kind of stuff, you either wanna look elsewhere or just use conventional wired headphones. Next up is range. Now for the range test that I did, I went to the roof of my 23 story building here in Hanoi. I put my tablet on its stand to maximize kind of signal strength from my tablet. And I just did a basic test. Now. Both of the Redmi AirDots and the Xiaomi AirDots have Bluetooth 5.0. So theoretically, they should get uh, significantly better battery life. Now, for either reasons of interference or uh, probably interference, um, I was not getting excellent range with either of these. In fact, uh, and I'll roll the clip right now for you guys, the best range that I was getting was from the Mi AirDots Pro. My theory to that is because of the design, because it's a bigger headphone, because there's a stem that sticks further out of your ear, they have a better antenna design. And because of that, you will get uh, a clearer or stronger signal. Now, this is a caveat, and this is unscientific, this is n much more subjective. When I'm inside my apartment and I put my phone on to charge, both the Redmi AirDots and the Mi AirDots have better signal quality than the Mi AirDots Pro. And that could be attributed to the differences between Bluetooth 5.0 and Bluetooth 4.2. So inside, if you're going through walls, something about the Bluetooth 5.0 does perform slightly better. Uh, outside, when there's interference kind of in the real world, the Mi AirDots Pro, for me at least, gave me consistently better performance with uh, the signal strength and quality. Next up, these are all Bluetooth wireless headphones. They all have built-in microphones. So let's talk a little bit about call quality. Now to test this, I was up on the roof of my building. It's pretty loud, people honking their horns. You can hear that stuff from where I am. And there's wind. Also with MIUI, I can record calls. So I recorded my call quality internally on my uh, Poco F1 running uh, Xiaomi EU. And call quality is something that there was a fair amount of variability with depending upon the connection I had with my girlfriend who I was calling. But uh, I did notice that my voice sounded better with the Mi AirDots Pro. Uh, it might not have been as loud as it was on the Redmi AirDots or the normal Xiaomi AirDots, but with the, with the AirDots Pro, it did have a clearer signal and less background noise. Uh, I had just placed the call uh, normally. I, I wasn't using any kind of other stuff or features I had on them. Uh, I don't believe active noise cancellation actually works when you're on calls. If it does, I'll retest these again and someone let me know where I can find a tutorial about how to activate the active noise cancellation on phone calls. Uh, down below, but I would assume that they that these would default to the best uh, microphone quality. The reason why the microphone quality is good is the same reason why they look big, silly, and stupid. You have a stem that sticks out of your ear facing your mouth, whereas with the normal AirDots, it's literally a hole in the top of it, which is usually pushed up against your ear. So both of these are going to be bad for call quality. Uh, my girlfriend said that the call quality 
on the regular Air Dots was pretty similar to what it was on the Redmi Air Dots, and I'll play for you guys an example of those calls. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm recording the call to test the sound quality uh, okay. on the Mi True Wireless uh, headphones because I am like up on the top of the building right now and there's some wind. Uh, how do I sound? Okay. Uh, I'll try it with the red meat ones now. It's the Bluetooth headphones. Mm. Okay. This is how I sound right now on the red meat ones. These are the cheapest ones. I'm going to put the, the most expensive ones in. A lot better, a little better. A little bit better. But not okay. Much. Okay. I'm going to lean my head out right now so that I get the maximum background noise. How is it sound? Okay, now that we've covered call quality, the next thing that I want to cover is the controls. And all of these headphones basically have the same control layout with a minor caveat being uh, the Mi AirDots Pro. Now with both of the Redmi AirDots and the Xiaomi AirDots, uh, you double click to play pause or to launch the assistant. You can long press to hold the assistant as well. Um, single tap to pause. Outside of that, there's really no other controls. With the Mi AirDots Pro, Xiaomi kind of copied the Huawei FreeBuds method of double tap the right side, play pause, double tap the left side for assistant, long hold on either of them, and it will start the active noise cancellation. Personally, I cannot stand the control layout on all these headphones. I think that QCY did a much better job implementing the controls with the ability to fast forward, play pause, and access assistant. To me, it's much more convenient not having to take my phone out. The next thing that people were wondering is about using all of these headphones in mono headphone pairing mode. Uh, you can do that with both the uh, Redmi AirDots and the Xiaomi AirDots. That is a totally separate process to pair them individually. I'm gonna do a, a whole other video about how you can use both of these headphones individually, and I'll link that in the description down below as soon as that video is up, and I'll have a card to it up here. Uh, but with the Mi AirDots Pro, you take one headphone out of the case, the one headphone works in mono mode. You take the other one out of the case, it works in mono mode. Works totally flawlessly, just like the Apple AirPods. There's absolutely uh, no issues using these in mono mode. Now, I don't use mono mode very much, but that's something that people wanted to hear me talk about and compare. Okay, we've covered most of these objective stuff. The next thing we're gonna be hopping into is kind of the more subjective opinion-based stuff. And the first thing that I wanna talk about is the quality or construction of the build. The Redmi AirDots feel super, super cheap. There's no way to get around it. The case feels even worse than these. And the fact that we have the physical button instead of the capacitive on this means that to activate it, you have to push them further into your ear. If you have really sensitive ears, that's going to be a big downside for you. Uh, if you wear a turban, right, um, where because this is not capacitive, your turban might accidentally activate them. So if you live in India or if you are a turban wearing individual, uh, these might not be the best choice for you because it would be activated uh, just on pressure, not capacitive touch. Something else people wanted to me to mention on. Um, the regular air dots feel slightly more premium than the Redmi AirDots. They also have a charging indicator for the case. It only tells you when the case is fully charged or when the case is empty. The Redmi AirDots have nothing else on the package. Uh, these feel slightly cheaper, chintzier, more like they're gonna fall apart than these. These feel just moderately better, although when you place them into charge, it's kind of the same feeling. The Mi AirDots Pro, but on the other hand, uh, they feel much more solid, much more premium. When you take them in and out of the case, I really like the way they charge. I've had problems with the case dying on these and I'd be curious to see if the case dies on these eventually. I don't think I'm gonna have issues with this. I don't know why, but I have had weird times where I've gone to pick the case up and the headphones are dead inside. I don't know if it has to do with the magnetic uh, charging indicator on these and that being accidentally activated, but I have had times when these have just been dead on me. Luckily, uh, because they are USB type C, they recharge really, really, really fast. Uh, the case can go from zero to full in about 30, 35 minutes, give or take, whereas 
The case for both of these is about 40, 45 minutes. Also, the recharge speed of the Mi Air Dots Pro is slightly faster than the regular Air Dots. Uh, I know that when I was on vacation, as I said before, and my headphones died, I put them back in the case for like 15 minutes and they had gained like 60% charge. So they are pretty fast to charge. The case does feel better. And for me, having the USB Type-C is a bit of a luxury or it's a, something I like more. Next up on the subjective uh, aspect of both of these devices is the sound quality. Now, this is difficult for me to speak on because these don't necessarily fit in my ears correctly. Uh, I've noticed that the AirDots Pro feel like they're always falling out. Someone told me to put foam tips on them, but it would interfere with how it fits inside the case. I will consider getting foam tips on them, but not everyone will. That said, when you are in a totally quiet environment uh, and you are just listening to music, the sound stage of these is much broader. It's much better. You have a lot more immersive of a sound. It doesn't sound like you have a small speaker in your ear thumping away. Uh, these are great for all genres of music. I can listen to hip hop, soul, jazz, R&B, pop, classic rock, and they all sound really good. The AirDots Pro and the Redmi AirDots. The regular AirDots do have a slightly better sound and I would guess that has to do with the audio codec uh, being AAC. There is variability with AAC. I've done a whole podcast on that. Uh, but just for the definition of mids, highs, lows of a vocal performance versus some like cymbals or something like that, uh, I do have better performance out of the regular Xiaomi AirDots. That said, the bass and the thump that I get out of the Redmi AirDots is great. Um, but it's not accurate, right? Uh, to listen to classic rock with these is not the greatest combination because you don't really get to hear like the differences between like the cymbals or the drums and like a, a high pitched or shrill vocal. Um, I love ACDC and a lot of the time, uh, some of the lead singer's voice will be on the higher pitch or the higher scale. And a lot of that gets lost with the Redmi AirDots. If you're only gonna be using these for electronic music or hip hop, uh, the Redmi AirDots don't have that big of a difference over the Xiaomi AirDots. So for sound quality for these, I have to say that my favorite in a quiet listening environment would be the Mi AirDots Pro. If I'm out on the street, because of the fit in my ear, the regular Xiaomi AirDots I think have a better sound. And last place is the Redmi AirDots. Finally, the last thing that I would like to touch on is the value proposition of all of these headphones. And what do I mean by value proposition? Well, how do they compare with other products on the market? How do they compare in regards to like features and sets and stuff like that? And honestly, uh, if you can buy all of these devices at MSRP, so if you can get the Redmi AirDots for under like 20 bucks, if you can get the Xiaomi AirDots for around 30 bucks, and if you can get the Mi AirDots Pro for around 60 bucks, I think the best value is the regular Xiaomi AirDots. I wouldn't buy any of these devices uh, if I was just a normal consumer though, right? Um, the reason why is we have a better product on the market uh, or we have comparable products for cheaper. Um, we have the QCY T1C, which is going to be a very similar product to either the Xiaomi AirDots or the Redmi AirDots. The case of that does not have the cheap feeling lid. And I got a feeling that they're going to be better made. Um, if you wanted to spend more than like 30 bucks, let's say, or if you were looking to buy a pair of the Mi AirDots Pro, I would get the QCY T1 Pro with Bluetooth 5.0. They're a little bit harder to find, but you can find them on Geek Buying and they're cheap. They're like 35, 36 bucks. 
Why would I get the QCY T1 Pro with Bluetooth 5.0? You'll get most of the benefits that you would with these. You'll get a better in-ear fit than these. On top of that, you're gonna get better controls. The only reason why I see to buy the Mi AirDots Pro for the average consumer is if you take a lot of phone calls and you want the ability to have a better microphone for taking phone calls. That's not everybody. Uh, the QCY T1 Pro, um, I think they sound great. I think they sound just as good, if not better than these, almost as good as these. And I wouldn't be surprised if the newer model of Bluetooth 5.0 sounds as good as these. If you guys want to pick up any of these headphones, whether it be the Mi AirDots Pro, Redmi AirDots, or these, I will try to find the best deal that I can and have it as an affiliate link. If you guys want to support me and use the affiliate link, that's awesome. If you use my affiliate links regularly, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, if there's like another pair of headphones that you really want me to get and examine, I totally would. I'm thinking maybe seeing if I can find another pair of fake AirPods, because that's something that's pretty popular and a lot of people have questions about. I hope I answered everyone's questions as to what headphones um, are best, what headphones you should buy. Uh, Till next time, guys. It's been Mitchell coming to you from Hanoi. If you want to see more videos about Hanoi, check out my link up here or my other YouTube channel. Peace.